Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the New Age Legendary Heroes. This is number 61. This is their take on a Sea Spray figure but they call him Triton. I'm obviously going to be referring to him as Sea Spray throughout the video. Um, the reason why he's not called Sea Spray is because he is made by a third party company which I'll explain a little bit more in a second. So before we get started I'd like to remind anybody who's not subscribed to the channel if you'd like to hit that subscribe button for me now please because it really will help me out and also to thank show z store because that's where these came from and there's a direct link if you want to get one of these yourself in the description so as i mentioned this is a new age product which you can see it says there now these figures because they transform which you can see that means they're not licensed by hasbro or takara so they're not allowed to use their official names so we've got obviously an actual product shot on the back there <clears throat> and indeed we've got Again, a good, I suppose, homage, ripoff, whichever word you want to use to the original Transformers packaging with the grid and, of course, the transformation process. Now, there is another figure in the box, but I'm going to be giving that a separate review. And I'll briefly discuss the fact that I know that that's annoyed quite a lot of New Age fans who don't want the other particular version of him. However, as I say, we are just going to focus on number 61, Sea Spray or Triton. So the figure itself, do you know what? It's really good. These are good. I've got to give them their due for the size um and i suppose yeah for the size of them you get loads of articulation you get a lot of detail i mean look there's even like an ab crunch going on there so with the with this there is a articulation in the head i'm sure there is let me have a quick look but it's really it must be yeah you can see it's on a mushroom peg but because it's brand new it's really quite awkward to get to you can see the arms again they're on ball and sockets so it will spin all the way around completely unrestricted you can go right out to the full t if you wanted to the arms whoops that's just folded out but the arms do have like a bicep flexion which you can see there the wrists are fused which is quite unusual to be honest with their new age figures normally you can change and replace the hands but that is fused there is is there a waist swivel there may be i don't know it's just mega oh there is i was gonna say it's just so tight i've just took it out of the box there's your genuine little ab crunch that you've got going on there uh we've got a ball and socket joints at the hips we've got knee bend and even though these feet are huge there's tilts um and is there a little rock thing there's not really i suppose the rock is in the knee but there is tilts but either way super super highly poseable lovely and again most people don't like this but i do translucent windows there at the front so you can see he's actually pretty much the same size as the g1 original and that's basically the best way to look at these particular figures so you've got 40 years worth of engineering between this and this which is reflected in the articulation and indeed in the price because these aren't cheap and the reason for that is again due to the articulation due to the engineering that's gone into them and due to the fact that little things like this the propellers on the back they are as you can see die cast and there is some metal parts on this so you know you're getting a nice little robust figure you also get a little blaster which fits into his hand and as i say i'm pretty sure that's the first weapon that sea sprays ever had i suppose apart from the reveal the shield was it or hunt for the decepticons he had a giant uh obviously version of him which i didn't bother bringing in because he doesn't even really fit you've also got this splash or wave effect which doubles up it doesn't look too good in robot mode to be honest it, i don't know sort of looks like he should be on a wall in like a hall of fame thing with like a crest behind him it works way way better in the alternate mode which i will show you now if i can take it off there we go and indeed take the blaster out of his hand because the blaster will fit uh on the roof uh, the roof has got a little cut out there there it fits and then of course as i've just said we can attach this now you can also see underneath that is it gonna go it should do yep it's just mega stiff now that looks a little bit better doesn't it like the splash effect um it's tiny they, they, they've got the one thing with new ages they managed to do whatever i suppose a bit like sound wave in the cartoons they seem to really be able to shrink their figures down there's a lot of i can't think what the correct term is but there's a lot of folding down and condensing when it comes to the actual transformation process you can pretty much obviously tell in there that we've got the legs apologies for the reflection constantly shining there um and the arms are all around the side again it's nice and clever you will have noticed that i've uploaded a transformation tutorial separately because even though it's small there is still let me just bring this down to show you 
all of these steps and to be honest the instructions are never the greatest you can't really see everything that's going on right there's not much more to say about him they're mini bots um they really don't come with like if you buy the other figures sort of like this sort of size they come with loads of accessories different hands different guns different attachments whereas with these at the moment they just seem to be um by themselves i'm just having a quick look at what other new age figures i've got dotted around so that's uh wheel jack which again is uh, quite a small figure to be honest let me see what else we've got here so let's bring in some other i suppose mainline figures first so that's another legitimate mini bot that's bumblebee uh so it's about as big as bumblebee which is uh yeah which is the mini bot obviously uh so not much bigger in fact smaller in length but obviously more robust and a lot more to it than your earthrise micromasters uh i've actually got a generation one run amok here as well so nowhere near as big as that uh, let me move him out of the way or let me see if i've got any other I haven't got any other new age bots oh yes i have let me just grab some of the Dinobots. So I've got an alternate mode here, Shattered Glass Grimlock, and then we've got a Robot Mode Sludge. So you can see it is really one of the smallest New Age figures um, out there. Right, let's move these out of the way and let's give you an idea of how big this figure is if you don't collect uh, third party products. So let's bring in some officials. So look smaller than a core class this was i think these were classed as legend scale before but now they changed them all to sort of core class um got a really kind of small uh deluxe class air razor there tigertron i believe was voyager so i mean absolutely tiny compared to these so they don't scale with these they're not intended to i'm just giving you an idea of how big they are depending on the toy lines that you collect whereas if you do continue to collect uh like this third party figures so let's bring some up to give you an idea there's a magic square there's an iron factory and funnily enough even dr Wu's ultra magnus is going to be bigger than him but again well out of scale i know just again give you an idea of the size of this particular figure so this is pretty much all i'm going to say about this guy he's fun he suits his purpose he's definitely needed they've not done one of him just yet i will be reviewing tremors separately um but yeah there you go this is number 61 new age legendary heroes triton but to me and you a generation one mini bot sea spray thanks for watching guys take care